LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. Go live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Hot dog. This was fight of the night. Okay? This was fight of the night. Folks, that's just how that is. Michael Johnson, Justin Gaethje. Look, man. Both of these dudes, they brought it. They brought this 100%. I'm going to tell you something, man. Justin Gaethje knocked Michael Johnson smooth the hell out. I'm talking about knocked him out. Ain't put him to sleep, but man. He beat the dude, and Michael Johnson just said, mm -mm, I don't want no more. And he uh, he got in the corner and balled up in the shell, and that was it. Michael Johnson threw out his game plan. Michael Johnson really, he he actually, he could have won this fight, man. He engaged Justin Gaethje in a brawl, and that's what, that's what the hell Justin Gaethje wanted. He wanted to be in a brawl. A nuclear brawl is what I call it. This dude, Gaethje, there's nothing special about him. The dude got a chin. I'm talking about the dude got a chin, and he's going to keep coming straight ahead. And I was sitting here thinking, why didn't Michael Johnson start chopping away in his legs? Now, Justin Gaethje, hey, man, he broke Michael Johnson down with them damn leg kicks. I'm talking about he broke him down. Johnson was eating them leg kicks, and I'm like, man, this can't be good. Like, you know, how many of these leg kicks is Johnson going to have to take? See, Gaethje set it up, man. People, it ain't nothing. Just, Justin Gaethje is very simple, but it's the simplicity in his game is what makes him undefeated. It's simplicity. Yeah, you know, he better get some head movement, man. He better get some head movement because if he fight any of the other lightweights, I mean ones that can crack, somebody going to knock him the hell out. But Justin Gaethje's simplicity is why he's undefeated. He don't do anything flashy. Now, the, the one flashy thing he did was he cut that backflip off the octagon cage. I mean, hell, I, now you got to admit, now, that, hell, hell, that was good. But... He don't do anything else flashy. He sticks to his game plan. He comes straight ahead. He'll throw the jab. You know, he kept a jab in Michael Johnson's face from, for some of the fight. But he continued to throw these brutal leg kicks that just kept Michael Johnson off balance. He couldn't get his he couldn't get his offense going. I mean, there was a lot that Michael Johnson couldn't do in this fight. And I have to admit, Michael Johnson rocked this dude twice and had him out. But it's like he ran out of gas. Michael Johnson ran out of gas to, to close the show. And that's what it is, man. He he ran out of gas to close this damn show. Because Michael Johnson had this dude on three occasions, but he couldn't finish him because he was running out of gas. Every time he had a chance to close his fight out, he was running out of gas. And Justin Gaethje, he was eating them jumps, man. Justin was eating all them shots. I'm talking about eating them, taking them, coming forward. And at first, I thought he had him, man. I thought Michael Johnson had him out. Nah, man. Justin Gaethje, shh, good grief. This joker, he recovered. He recovered quick, man. Because he had him one time, and I'm thinking, okay, Michael Johnson, just give him a knee, man. Give him a knee and get him out of there. But nah, man. Justin Gaethje wasn't having it, man. He wasn't having it. And he recovered, and he hit Michael Johnson with an uppercut. Well, at first he threw a jab. Then he threw an uppercut, knocked Michael Johnson, smoothed the hell down, and that was it, okay? That was it. Michael Johnson balled up in the corner, and Justin Gaethje commenced to whooping his ass. And, of course, Big John McCarthy stopped the fight because Michael Johnson was no longer defending himself. Yeah, folks, that's what it was. That's how the fight went down. It was a good fight for as long as it lasted, but I was thinking at this pace, ain't no way that this fight is going to last all five rounds. Impossible. Because these guys, they were throwing some serious leather, man. They were throwing that leather, and my friends... And that's just the way that is, man. So congratulations to uh, Justin Gaethje, man, for a TKO victory. He's 18 and 0 now in the UFC, and well, no, I'm sorry, he's just 18 and 0 period over his MMA career. But yeah, man, you know, but Justin, he gotta make some adjustments, man. He gotta make some adjustments, and he gotta start moving his head, man. He got to do something because, you know, somebody is gonna knock him out. Somebody gonna hurt him, man, and. This dude is a candidate for a head kick. This dude is a candidate for a flying spin kick. I mean, a roundhouse. He's a candidate for it because he don't move his head. So hopefully his camp, they start really making him adjustments, and we'll see where we go from here. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.